This is my garage. You've seen me make countless videos out of this thing over the last two, maybe two and a half years now. But as you can see, it needs some love. Now, it is a little bit messier than it typically is, mainly because we hosted a baby shower this past weekend um, outside and we had to rush things in while it was raining. So all this extra stuff is typically stored away. Um, but one thing that I haven't done to this garage and I've been dying to do is flooring. You can kind of see the garage floor is obviously nice and cured up. We've got some of my cabinets back in place. Everything that was originally here, there's still a little bit of a mess going on because I'm kind of doing things a little bit slower this time uh, and kind of reorganizing where I would place certain things. The car is still not in here mainly because there is an extended curing time for the car. I'm trying to be as patient as possible, make sure that the floor is absolutely cured before bringing the car in here. So what they tell you is after the floor is completed, today is Thursday, they, and the floor was done on Saturday of last week. So we are at the four day mark, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're at the five day mark. Technically I can pull the car in. I'm just waiting a little bit longer. Three days is what they say at minimum to bring furniture back into the garage. And then they say five to seven for the car. So I'm doing the longer version, seven days. I got a car covered outside in the driveway, um, but I'll be bringing the car back in. But it looks sick, guys. I'm gonna cut to some B-roll now so you can actually see the floor, but it looks absolutely amazing. back together and I'm so excited to kind of be back in the garage and hopefully start shooting some content with the, the Z06 real soon. But this really just incentivized and motivated me to create more just because I love the garage feel now. It feels more and more like a studio, more and more of like my man cave and I'm really excited with it. And I'm also excited about the color. I originally was going to go with what I was seeing most of the internet doing right now, which is the domino color scheme, which is a gray base coat with I believe like a white and black and gray uh, fleck across the uh, across the board, and I think it is a full broadcast as well. It's very common. You're seeing a lot of the domino ones. It will brighten the space naturally. I wanted to go with something different, so I I went and chose with what they call in that shop a black blend, which is a black base coat, which I was very nervous for, uh, but it does have a lot of light color flecks. So it has white and grays, and it actually has some black in it, but it also has like a hint of like blues and purples very, very subtly across the board. So I love how it came out. It looks absolutely fantastic. I have like an anti-slip coating on it. So my, my texture is a little bit rougher than most. It's still soft to the touch. You can be barefoot in here. You're not really going to be bothered by it, but it is a little bit more aggressive because I, I added an additional anti-slip resistant coating on top, um, which makes it a little bit rougher at the feel. Um, obviously, you know, I was in between, I was, when I was doing my research, I was in between the, the Swiss tracks flooring or the epoxy. I chose a more permanent route. 
Um, I do a lot of work in my garage physically on the cars, if it's not the Corvette or it's a family vehicle and stuff like that. Um, and I wanted something that I wouldn't have to really be worrying about like, hey, am I dispersing the weight enough and not crack a Swiss tracks and stuff like that. So I went with the epoxy flooring. If you're in the market for epoxy flooring, there's a couple of things that I kind of ran through and, and hopefully it's inside to you guys. You're going to run into two different types of guys. You're going to run into the one dayers and you're going to run into the three dayers. The one day guys will come and do the entire process from start to finish in the same exact day, which is they will come, they'll prep the floor early in the morning, they'll take a lunch break, they'll come back, they'll apply the epoxy and they'll apply the top coat all within the same day. Um, the three day guys basically break down out into three days, which is the route that I went with. Um, they come the first day, they, they grind down your floor, they clean it out, they come the next day, they apply the epoxy and the final day they come and they do the top coat. Now. When I asked the vendor what the primary difference is from it, there wasn't really a definitive reason why you should choose a three-dayer over a one-dayer. Um, I don't know the case. It's all theoretical. It is the basic theory is, would you trust something that's designed to cure in this X amount of time to be forced to be cured in a certain time? And the difference between the two guys is the one-dayers, the one-day epoxy floors are going to add accelerants to just help um, the curing time reduce it so they can start applying the rest of the stuff. But one thing that doesn't change and I didn't realize is the curing time does not change from the one day guys to the three day guys. Now keep in mind, three day guys technically extends it because you've got to have everything out of your garage for, for the three days of the prep work and uh, the epoxy laying down and then you need another five to finally get your car back in and, and, and this other stuff. The one day guys are going to finish it in one day and then you start your three day count. Three days, meaning you can bring furniture back in. You still can't bring your car in, but you can start bringing all your furniture back in. Um, and depending on your situation, you might have to factor in putting it in a short term storage or if you have a back patio like I did, it's basically store everything back there. And then five to seven to bring your car in. And these numbers are going to vary based on your climate, where you live in. I live in South Florida. This garage is an oven 99% of the time. So obviously the curing time kind of gets expedited a bit, but I still waited. I waited the full three days to put the furniture back in here. And then I waited about six days to bring the car in. And you can see actually when I roll the car in for the first time, I put a moving blanket on the ground um, to just kind of help that transition from the outside concrete in and prevent any kind of uh, premature damage on it. But other than that, it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome it's pretty amazing it changes the the life of the garage i'm a little bit now anal to use it which i'm not a fan of i i got to work on a couple cars this weekend and i don't even want to move the jacks i don't want to do anything i wish i could just live out of this thing right now but they are pretty durable and i will make a follow-up in about six months and kind of tell you guys how it is because obviously you know if you follow my channel i work a lot on the corvette i have my truck parked right outside so there's a lot of work and a lot of in and out that this garage gets. But if this video was any what helpful to you guys or you just liked the cool uh, transition of the floor, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment below and what your thoughts are epoxy versus Swiss tracks. I had posted a, a feeler on Instagram and it was overwhelmingly epoxy. So that's kind of where I went with it. And honestly, I'm not unhappy with my decision. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.